Hi, I'm Natasha Kalsadi. I'm a photographer and educator here at Sammy's Photo School. Today I would like to share a Photoshop tip with you that will allow you to retouch your image much easier by viewing it in two document views. One which will allow you to zoom in in an area and the other one will show you the zoomed out image. So therefore you can do a lot more precise retouching. Here I have an image that I would like to retouch these people from the background because all I can see is their legs. So here is the tip. If you go into the window menu of Photoshop and go into arrangement and then go down into new window for uh, that specific name of the image, mine is called NCF San Miguel 554. So notice now I have this image in two different tabs. It's actually the same exact image, but it's just in two different tabs. Therefore, I can go into the window menu once again, but this time I'll go to arrange and I will arrange them as two vertical, but you can also arrange them as two horizontal if you wish. Now I have these two identical images next to each other. So I will take the image on the right and I will, I will zoom out so I can see the full frame can move it around by holding the spacebar. And then the image on the left, I will use for my retouching. So what I would like to do, and actually I'll move it over a little bit, like so. So I can see this little guy on the right and I can see the image that I'm going to be retouching on the left. And this is an excellent tip if you're retouching images for the web or for Instagram and your image is substantially smaller, than the way you're retouching it. So I will go ahead and create an empty layer. So therefore I will be retouching in a non-destructive mode and I will take my clone stamp tool and I will start removing some of these feet uh, or legs rather. So I'll option or alt click on the pavement and I can fill in the pixels where I want to remove the legs from as an I as you can see on the image on the right I'm starting to see exactly the same thing now I overdid it a little bit over here so I'll fix it and you can see that I can get rid of that person and it's gone on that frame so now I can see that it's a little too much of a darker spot so I can kind of blend it in a little bit better and match my tones a little bit better if I need to, to get it exactly where I want it to be. And then of course you will repeat and get rid of the other people or the other leg and recreate that sidewalk right here. And it changes in real time on the image on the right and you can precisely keep track as to what you are doing. You can zoom in more on one image and you can keep on going. So you see precise detail on the left and it's being retouched and viewed on the right as a smaller image. And here's another little bonus tip for you. If you wanted to move the both images at the same time, if you hold the shift key and then hold the space bar, that is your hand tool, you'll be able to move both images at the same time if you needed to get into a closer view of the other image for whatever reason. And here is the before and after of our retouch. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Let us know in the comments below if uh, you've known about this particular tip. And also, if you would like to learn other Photoshop techniques, come join me for a Photoshop class at Sammy's Photo School. The link is down below for our full schedule. And while you're down there, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, gives us a thumbs up, and you'll be notified for my next tip. And uh, I will see you next time.